Okay, I'm calling this my um, Electronic Easy Spin 2.0. It's a laser saber easy spin design using uh, six stator coils and three rotor magnets. Uh, the circuit is the complementary transistor, dad have, backup CPU, and lid motor that I've used for years and years that um, I found out to be very reliable. It's just a PNP and an NPN with a simple circuit. Um, what's unusual about this is I'm using that magnetic levitation uh, as opposed to having it rest on any sort of a friction bearing of any kind. It floats on a needle in the middle there. And it's unusual because most of them use uh, ring magnets, but I found out you could just use an array of uh, um, magnets in such a way and get that to float. And uh, it makes for a very low friction uh, bearing. And that was one of the problems I've had with a lot of my uh, long running motors is bearing failure. And we, uh, we might run this up for a while and see how it goes. It doesn't run on low amperage. It's a three milliamp per motor, but I'd still like to try out that bearing and see how it fares up. It doesn't fire unless you spin it up fast enough to induce a current. And then uh, once it induces enough current, the electronic circuit kicks in. This is about a 20 minute run time on about two and a half volts from that battery in that five farad supercapacitor. But um, pretty neat. Um, great toy and uh, this is the arrangement of the magnets you can see my little code here of the north south and how these go around and it was a really neat design that laser saber came up with years and years ago that i've uh, really enjoyed watching on his easy spin i have one of his original easy spins that he sent me and i finished it up and then added the electronic circuit to it um, this uh, complementary transistor circuit Dad had was the first one that I saw do that using uh, um, the complementary uh, transistors. Then backup CPU reduced the circuit down, and then I, I fiddled with it myself. But that's been the most reliable circuit over many years now that I found is the simple complementary transistor circuit. You can see it in a lot of my videos. Um, Anyway, that's that's what I've been up to. I, I really enjoyed playing with this magnetic levitation that doesn't use ring magnets. It just uses these um, regular magnets. And you can use uh, ceramic or neos. And uh, then on the rotor, you just put the magnets like there. And if the dimension is correct, then this will float in the, um, in the magnetic field. And like I say, it seems to make a pretty good uh, motor bearing for this type of um, project. It's just a toy project, a desktop project, but it's fun. And I get a kick out of building these things. And um, a lot of people think I just blow on this and or loop the video, but that's, that's actually running there. Now, I have a radio here so you can hear it. You can load it down. It still runs. And like I say, the run time on that's about 20 minutes. But a great little desktop toy. And uh, it's my latest uh, project I've been playing around with is that thing right there. And that is a Laser Saber Easy Spin Design. And um, my name is... Uh, lead motor and this is the 28th of january 2025 thanks for watching